Hi there, I'm Ludwig and this is SQL Bootcamp Online, the two-minute SQL series when we are addressing the most common issues regarding SQL Server and Azure. So in today's episode, I want to distinguish those two extremely important terms, which are RPO and RTO. So without further ado, let's just jump straight into it because these are the most important when it comes to uh, your recovery drill, to your disaster recovery drill, when it comes to your overall backup design strategy. So uh, design your backup strategy, of course. So what those terms mean? Let's start with from that. RTO stands for recovery time objective. RTO means based on your SLA, so that your service level agreement, which defines how you'll be providing your services to your, mm, to your customer, to your client, to your employer, right? So RTO means how much time your database can be offline, all right? So what is the downtime that you can afford? If it's set to one hour, it means that within one hour, this database needs to be back online. It needs to be operational. Now, of course, the SLA itself, it will define what is the starting point of this one hour. Now, these days is just a downtime. A few years back, we could say, hey, this will be one hour from the moment someone will report that there is a downtime. If we weren't being online 24 seven, if, if you weren't working in a global environment. But again, you need to know based based on your SLA, what this one hour mean? We have to assume that this is just an overall one hour from the moment the downtime occurs, regardless of what is the reason of this downtime, whether it's a networking issue, maybe this is a physical fail of the hardware, maybe this is just a human error that someone deleted something and you need to get it back online. So this is the RTO. The second one is RPO, which is recovery point objective. Now, if the RTO was the only one that we were working with, that would be basically the heaven on earth. Because again, let's say that my this is my database, boom, or my timeline here. Uh, I'm taking some backups in here. Those backups may be very large. Let's say that my backups are two, three, five, seven terabytes large every single time I'm taking that backup. If my backup, uh, if my failure occurs somewhere in here, what I can do is I can just say, all right, I have one hour and I'll just take the database backup from two, three or five years ago, I'll recover my database within this one hour window in here and I'm good to go, right? Because this way I would meet my recovery time objective. But unfortunately, I also have my RPO, so recovery point objective. And recovery point objective, as the RTO works this way, recovery point objective works this way. So how much data I can afford to lose, all right? If my Let's say that this uh, failure in here occurred on Thursday, Thursday at, uh, let's say, 4.30 p.m., all right? So 16.30, half past four, all right? So this is when my uh, failure occurred. If I was taking all of my backups, let's say I, I was taking my uh, transaction log backup every three hours, all right, for the sake of example. So my transaction log was being backed up at 3 a.m., at 6 a.m., uh, at 9 a.m., at noon, and then I had my next backup at 3 p.m. If my RPO uh, was set to also one hour, it means that I cannot afford to lose more than one hour worth of data from the moment this failure occurred, all right? So I can lose all of the data from between 15.30, so half past three, to the four, half past four, and that's it. Now, if I took my latest backup, my last backup was taken at 3 p.m. at 1500, it means that I'm not meeting my RPO because this way I would lose 90 minutes of work, not just 60, all right? That's where you need to pull the tail log backup from your database if you still have access to the LDF file. But this is a completely different story that we'll cover either on the other a clip on this YouTube channel, so don't forget to subscribe. But if you really want to do yourself, yourself a favor, just go to SQL Bootcamp online, subscribe to the SQL Bootcamp newsletter in order to get notified about new 
uh, movies on this uh, YouTube channel and you will not miss that. So again, this is the difference between the RPO and the RTO. Recovery point objective tells you how much time you can, how much data you can lose and the recovery time objective tells you how much time you have in order to get this database up and running so the business can start working again and all of your co-workers will start getting the work done okay so again thank you very much for watching today don't forget to subscribe but go to sql bootcamp online and i'll see you on the other side